are D and Allie. Come along and join us aboard Journey. Oh, yeah, seasons change. No promise of tomorrow, but that's okay. Just live in the moment day by day. May has arrived, and with Metallica now street legal, we can start getting the miles on her so we can explore. We have to go slower than most traffic here in Mexico for the first 300 miles, or 500 kilometers. Mostly, Dee would explore the Poblado. We wanted a little more adventure, so we set out to explore Acama, about 20 kilometers from Puerto Aventuras. We have loved La Buena Vida since our first visit to Acama back in 2014. We enjoyed the view and some great margaritas. And afterwards, we explored the Poblado side of the highway, which is a very small community. We love our pool days, and we always enjoy the sights around the pool. Hmm. Next up was Mother's Day, and to celebrate, all I wanted was to try a Carib cooler from the Naughty Borough. I met some ladies who just could not stop talking about them, and it was yummy. We met Obi, who wanted some of Dee's french fries, and watched the Soul Beer Can dance across the table. Dee also picked up some beautiful flowers for me, which lasted all the way through our anniversary, which is the next weekend. May is an exciting month here in Mexico because Dee and I will be celebrating our 33rd wedding anniversary. We planned another moto adventure down to Solomon Bay, where we stayed on our last friend trip in 2017. We returned for margaritas and pizza at Hotel Mareva, which was a favorite spot. We enjoyed a good meal, drinks, and the views. We rode to the in end of the road and back finding the house we rented on VRBO. Such good memories. The next part of our anniversary was a trip to El Cilio Cazanel, which you saw in the last video. As Dee was doing engine checks, we found an issue. The raw rotter pump on the port engine was not pumping. Thankfully, we found another one in Cancun. But the bad news, Dee had to take the moto on a three-hour round trip to get the part on our anniversary. But he is the man. He went up to Cancun, returned, installed, and we were pumping water by late afternoon. The next day, we headed across to El Cilio to enjoy this beautiful spot. As the wind settles some, we have more Shelby days, and finally we went to check out more of what we call the hull here in Puerto Aventuras. All the charter boats end up at the hull. Maybe we should call it the drinking hull. On a rough day, charters head straight to this location. This area was created with a small sandbar and it protects the boats. Here you can stand and socialize. The nice thing is Shelby can get all the way to the rock wall out of the way of the charter boats. Well, sometimes. Those captains like their spots, and sometimes when we go now, we feel like we're always moving Shelby. But it's always a fun time. We enjoy watching all the crazy fun in the hole. We do have another adventure to share. On our trip south where we found Playa Zuri, we saw a small opening into a bay. I researched on the maps, and it led into a cenote. So the next calm day, we headed down to Casa Cenote, which seemed to be by an old abandoned resort. Fresh and salt water mix here, so it's blurry to snorkel, but so many fish and cool water. Sad part, we were run off and told it was privata, or private. So we didn't argue and left, but really sad we'll not be able to return here again.
cool little spot we found. It is just about a mile and a half down from Puerto Aventuras. Freshwater cenote is feeding this little bay. Near a little cut to come in. Um, the water is not as clear because of the fresh water mixing with the salt water. Uh, but there are bunches of fish below. So uh, definitely a place to come back to. Also, the water is cooler. Uh, so in those hotter months, uh, this would be a good place to come and swim and refresh. Water's deep. You can see nothing around. Looks like an old resort. Uh, or part of an old resort. We'll have to do a little more research, see if we can figure out exactly what. But the walking trail is still maintained. New neighbors moved in. This Mexican family left from Acapulco, Mexico three years ago and sailed around the world. They were almost finished. Once they leave Puerto Aventuras, their last stop is Veracruz, Mexico. It was quite a story, especially the three months on a boat in the Mediterranean Sea when COVID hit before they could get ashore anywhere. On Saturdays in Puerto Aventuras, there are two markets, the produce market and the PA Beach Club host one with food, clothing, and among other things. On our first visit, we met Charlie Coffee and bought some of his coffee. It is the best. He was so interested in our boat and our journey to Mexico, so we invited he and his wife, Mariana, to spend a day on journey. It was a beautiful, calm day, so we just shut the engines down and started floating about 300 yards offshore in about 900 feet of water. This is an interesting fact about the coast of Mexico. You don't have to go far to fish offshore and to be in really deep water. This is also why we can't find many places to anchor. While floating in this beautiful blue water, we cannot help ourselves. We had to jump. It's almost time for our visit home to the States, and we are going to have to relocate Journey onto a Mediterranean mooring. This is new for us, and yes, I have some anxiety. Dee wanted some lines in better shape, so he took to learning how to splice lines. Success on both splicing lines and locating journey onto the mooring by ourselves. We moved on to the mooring and although we're working on how to get on and off journey a little easier, we like being off the wall. And now we get to have a better look at the fishermen when they come in and we get to know Flacco better who watches out for us. He's in the fluorescent hat and he knows how to fillet fish and bait ballyhoo pretty fast. Next stop, North Carolina and giving Lily a lots of love. Dee hasn't seen her since Christmas. We are living in the moment, capturing enjoyment. Oh, we are living in the moment, life full of enjoyment. Oh,